Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be an August homeschool update. So this is our first year homeschooling. We started around the middle of August, around the 15th-ish. So we're not, we haven't yet reached the one month mark, but this is just an update on how it's going so far. Thing is, how's it going? So we started homeschooling around the middle of August, so we haven't reached a month yet. Um, I think we started on the 15th, um, but so far it's going really good. It is a lot different than I thought it would be in a good way, but so far it's going good. Adrian's learning, we're learning together as we do it. We're trying to get a routine going and we're just having fun with it right now. All right, any regrets? I do not have any regrets of homeschooling or starting on this journey. I think it's something that something that we wanted to do and it's something that I feel like I needed to try first before I say like, oh, I can't do that or I'm not capable of doing that. So, so far I don't have any regrets um, about it. I'm really enjoying the experience of just being able to spend so much time with her and see what what subjects excite her and just to pick her brain and see what she thinks about things and hear her perspective hear her perspective on things and hear her questions and to be able to answer those questions and to be able to learn together, like that to me is just the most beautiful thing. So no regrets there. Part is going to be like about struggles or I guess struggles. Um, so the biggest struggle for me so far right now is being in my third trimester and just like the tiredness of it, um, I think that has been the biggest struggle is just not having the energy that I'm used to having to be able to do all of the things in my head that I want to be able to do. But luckily, because we are homeschooling, I am able to, you know, we take as many breaks as we need. We go on walks, we go outside. We just really take it slow. It's not like rush or rush schedule, like we have to be done by this time, we have to get this, 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 this done. We just really wake up in the morning and we both check in with each other, see how each other's feeling, and that really determines our day. Um, so far, my favorite days of homeschooling has been when it's like raining and storming outside and she wants to do homeschool in her PJs and we just sit at the table together in our PJs and drink hot chocolate. So to me, that is the biggest the, like that's just so it's just so special to me to be able to do that um but that is my struggle right now is just finding the energy i know that things will change when the baby comes and that'll be a different adjustment period but right now we're just we're just doing what we can and i think we're doing the best that we can what i thought homeschool would be like versus what it is and then the things that i bought versus the things that we actually use Okay, so the first thing is what I thought homeschool would be like versus what our homeschool routine looks like. The, I think the thing that I love the most, I keep saying, I love so many things about homeschooling. Um, but one of the things I love the most is homeschooling is you create whatever schedule works for you and your family. So when I went into it, I was like researching and looking up other people's schedules and seeing how they time block and what they do every day. And in my head, in the beginning, I was like, okay, we're going to have a set schedule by this time we do this, this time we do that, this time we do this. And that is not at all how our days go. Um, we did start off like that, uh, but <laughs> we have gotten into more of just like, a morning flow it's just like a flow of things so while we do have a daily checklist that of things and subjects that i want to cover for us there's no time restraint on the checklist and there's no pressure to finish everything on the checklist like whatever we don't get done that day we'll just roll over to the next day um i do i have learned about reverse planning and that has helped me a lot because instead of having a checklist of what we did and didn't do at the end of the day i just write down what we actually did that day and that helps me because some days when we're both just tired or we're not feeling it we still get things done but it may not be everything on the checklist but we still got something accomplished so 
that aspect of like, okay, well, what did we accomplish today? That really helps me versus just like, these are the things we have to get done. Cause there's no pressure to get all of these things done and to rush her or make her sit down for a set period of time and do this and do that. We kind of just go with, if I see we're doing something and I can tell she needs a break, then we'll take a break. If I can tell I need a break, then we'll take a break. And our breaks can be anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes and we just do something else for a little bit. And then we'll come back to it or we'll come back, we'll revisit it the next day. So I did do a homeschool haul and I got all of this stuff and I was so excited. Um, but these are the things that we actually use every day. <laughs> um, this reading log, I got this clipboard from Dollar Tree. So this reading log, basically when she reads a book all by herself, she just writes the name of the book and puts a sticker on it. And this just helps her and me to know how many books she's reading. And then when we go to the library, we know not to check out the same books. So we do use this. Um, next, of course, we do use our Good and the Beautiful math book. We use that pretty much every day. And I like that math book because it, it's fun. It has games in it. And it, it's not just, it's not a lot of work in a lesson and it makes it interactive and fun. And then we also use our language arts book from the good and the beautiful, we use this every day. And I like this too, because like I said, it's interactive and it's not just a bunch of work for her to do. It's actually really fun. They have poems and games and um, artwork and videos. So this is very fun for, both of us. And the last thing that we pretty much use every day is this book I got from the Dollar Tree again, and it's a morning starters book. So this is how we start off our day with this morning starters book. And basically every morning, um, it just gives her like, starts off with the name, a word of the day, little math problems, time, morning math, rhyme. So it's just something to she can do in the morning to just get her mind ready and get focused on school. And I've really been loving this book. I was actually really shocked because it did come from Dollar Tree, but this is something that we do use every day. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I did get a lot of stuff because like I said, this was our first year and I really didn't know what to expect, but those are the things that we have actually been using. And then we have our weekly stuff, which would be like her marine biology lesson, which is um, a PDF on the laptop. We do use that and that has fun science, science experiments too. Um, so we do like that, but for the most part, we keep it simple with these, what is it? With these three books, um, some days we'll do science and we're doing marine biology and then some days we'll throw in history and then we'll do music, art and reading. Um, oh, so I showed you how we start off our day and how we end our homeschool day is we read, um, this is our read aloud book for the month. Well, this is our read aloud book until we finish. It's called Where the Moon Meets the Mountain. And me and Adrian have been thoroughly enjoying this book. It is so good. I love it because it's, we get to read the book together and we make guesses on what we think is gonna happen. So we are really enjoying this book and this is how we end our homeschool day. Once we get done with the work for the day, we just snuggle up together on the couch and we read a chapter or two of our book and it's just been really good. I know September will look a little bit different because we'll all be adjusting to having a newborn in the house, but we're just gonna give ourselves grace and just take it day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute and just make sure that we're not putting too much pressure on ourselves to accomplish all of these tasks. I'll probably still stick to reverse planning and at the end of the day, just write down what we did for that day, what lessons we did, what lessons we covered, things that we need to work on. I'll probably still continue to do it that way just until we just get adjusted. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And next month's video, we will have a new boy. <laughs> so in our next month's, in our September homeschool update, we will have baby here. So that is going to be so much fun to be able to see what that journey is gonna look like. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.